This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 403 for Wednesday, August 11th, 2021. This is Brian. This is Lisa. Good morning. <laughs> Do you know no. what the gingerbread man <laughs> uses to make his bed? Cookie sheets. <laughs> this pen is amazing. The Sailor 110th anniversary. The Shirogane and the Kurogane. And which one did you keep? This one right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love this. This is these pens are massive. They're very large. They're huge. These are ginormous. Yeah. If you like uh, a, a big ass pen. <laughs> if you like a big pen, uh, this is actually bigger than a King of Pen. This is big. Uh, and you can see the comparison in uh, in our video. Uh, but Sorry, Don. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's, I love this. You know, we've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. Kudos to Sailor yep. for truly going out of their comfort zone, out of, out of everybody's mm -hmm. comfort zone, to come up with something really, really different for an anniversary pen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, I, in the past. You know, I won't harp on the, the other companies who've just missed the boat for anniversary pens. Um, but, yeah, you know, or, or it's, you it's know, just something a in a different color. Yeah. yeah, you know, big deal. Um, this is so different from anything that we, at least in the U.S., have seen from Sailor. And yeah. it's it's too big for my hand, but it's really cool. I love the roll stop on the top of the cap. Yeah, the gold anchor logo I love is that. great. Everything about it is different. Um, is unique, yep. is definitely worthy of being, I don't want to say once-in-a-lifetime, but a once-in-a-lifetime truly an anniversary yeah, pen. Yeah, yeah um, absolutely. Really, really love it. The uh, new nib. Yep. The, um, nib design. Look at this. So it's got the new Sailor Anchor logo and the Sailor font. Which I really like. Yeah, it's I really, really it's crisp. like it. Um, but th there is a bit of a step between the barrel and the section here, or the barrel and the, the threads on, mm -hmm. the, on the barrel. But it, what's interesting is it goes back further. It does. It's not right at the threads. It does. So there's just like a, a, a maybe a millimeter or two, a couple of millimeters difference. Yep, absolutely. Um, but it's not uncomfortable. And Yeah, I um, didn't think so. If, if you, Even if you're grabbing on the threads, yep. your fingers are resting further back on that stuff. The barrel is very, very, very smooth. Um, that Kurogane is really cool. I like you that. You get one and you chose. Well, I get one and I'll you buy the get... other. How's that sound? <laughs> that <laughs> You're one, paying for that, both. That, that one's got uh, the ruthenium trim on the center band yes. and on the roll stop. Love the uh, roll stop. But then it's got the, the, the chrome trim um, yeah. around the band. Really, really well, well, well done. Yeah, I like it. Uh, it's cartridge so... converter, of course. It comes in four different nib sizes. Fine, medium, fine, medium, and broad. Um, Go slow. Fine, fine medium, medium, fine, medium, fine, medium, and broad. And broad. Uh, if you're thinking about it, these will not last forever. Um, I would grab it while you can. And I think right now we're, we have one Shirogane left. There are some more coming. A, We've got a, ba a small a back order coming. Yeah. Uh, Kurogane, we're, we're good on all nib sizes. I just want to show the box real quick. Yes. If you haven't seen the video, check out the video. Um, but. It comes with this cool oh. chestnut wood box, and if you flip it over, and you take the, you know, it comes with, of course, documentation and polish cloth and stuff. You've actually got two very nice desk pen trays, trays or pen trays. Very cool. Um, that you could put on your desk. Nice. So I think that that's creative and nice use. Um, now maybe you might want don't want to put two on there, but that looks great. You could put. Yeah, so. Fits in there. And this fits in there. You could certainly put extra cartridges or converter in the bottom. Right. Um, no, just that's really great. Typical um, Japanese efficient um, packaging. Multi-purpose. Yep. Uh, and and then beautiful. It, yeah. Absolutely and, beautiful wood. And it comes with a nice uh, hemp pen sleeve, which is really pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, I, I confess this pen here got me into a little bit of a trouble, uh, but the uh, we have a, a Namiki Yukari Rock Garden a uh, trouble. experience pen. Um, this is oh, a great pen. This oh, is a great this pen. One. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine had it. Mm -hmm. I made a deal, uh, and um, 
and here we, we, we have it. So this pen normally is about $1,400. Okay. Uh, and it's it's fantastic. It has this raised... It is uh, beautiful. Raised maquillé. It's great. Um, it's in excellent condition. Broad nib. Okay, and, so this uh, is for sale. This is, yes, eventually. No, this is for sale. Uh, Two-tone Namiki broad nib. Yes, it's for sale. This is for sale. It's for sale. Please and buy it so Brian doesn't keep it and I, I, get divorced. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> over this? Um, There's so many other pens. <laughs> I have uh, I have a very attractive price on this pen. Uh, please take advantage of it. No box, but it's 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 mint. It's just a great great looking pen. So Yukari Rock Garden. It's probably one of the most popular. Okay. Of the Yukaris, uh, in the in the in the series. So. Okay. But anyway, we have that available uh, right. in the uh, the experienced maquillage department. We started to carry uh, a brand of stationery called Knock Knock. And. They are um, little sticky notes. Uh, they have just regular memo pads. Um, Look at these some, cool ones with magnets on them. Yes, it. pads with magnets. Put it on your fridge. Yes, that's what they're for. And so we're gonna show you a couple. Do not put this on your computer. <laughs> oh, with the magnet, yeah. So like this is uh, a little pad of sticky notes called mental note it says remember eventually forget do something about contemplate ignore stick somewhere um <laughs> what <laughs> stick somewhere just stick it somewhere oh okay yeah all right um little thank you sticky note i've got one of those on my desk uh something similar says, to that. you know to and from much appreciated forever indebted shouldn't have so helpful made my day my hero <laughs> my hero you know uh so just really cute this one i love the passive aggressive note um, this is just a, a memo pad. It's not sticky. Uh, it says, dear whoever, you might want to consider, I love these, cleaning, cleaning up, up after, after yourself. yourself. Every keeping, parent needs this one. Keeping it down, respecting other people's stuff, reassessing your priorities, trying meditation, <laughs> finish what you started, meditation. lighten up, that's me, learn how to oh park your car, God. improve your hygiene. Um, so just really cute things. Lately I've noticed that you and then you can write it in. And I would hate if someone actually had to sulk, write another note, <laughs> I think retaliate, you, you call like, the cops. You like these too much. I do. I always like these. Um, cute little IOU. You know, I borrowed this. I'll get it back to you. I, I may never get it back to you. Uh, these great. are cute little um, tabbed um, sticky notes. These are goals cool. and note to self. Really cute. This one Amanda actually requested that we get. It is a bill. receipt catcher. Oh, okay. And so on the one side, um, you can't see this one sealed, but um, there are five or six tabs um, that you can, uh, that are little pockets and you can put like your different receipts in there. And then there's a pad of paper inside that you can write everything down for your, um, what you spent your money on. Okay. This I like, I like this one. It's a pad. Uh, it's a to-do pad. Yeah. And so, yeah. What I must do, what I should do. Um, right, what totally here? cute. These are sticky notes. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> 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 so they're just really fun. They're funny. Yeah, yeah. They're a little irreverent. Yeah. A couple, um, couple of these guys, the, the long Yep. I always love those for... Um, have a super adequate day, okay? <laughs> So. Then um, a bunch of uh, pads that have magnets for your fridge or wherever. Um, grocery lists. So this is all out of uh, kind of generic groceries. Um, they do also have... Uh, You've got like a vegan... There's a vegan, there's a vegetarian. I think yep. there's even a keto. Yep. Um, and then pads that are just like good ideas. This one, this one is brilliant. My, my, my mother used to have a, a thing she would type out. I remember her typing on the typewriter every year for our annual Canada trip, and it was the same thing. It was, you know, road trip, what stuff to pack. And yep. here it is on a, just on a check pad. It off. Yep. That's really cool. Absolutely. And you, you, we we you had something similar for pen shows in the beginning. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, we forgot your pants twice. <laughs> Socks twice. Uh, socks in, in California twice. twice. I, don't, I don't know how, but... Um, but you can buy them at the uh, CVS yes. there next to the restaurant. Yeah. Um, to do, to buy. Now, this one is interesting because it's perforated in the middle. 
Um, I had two sets of these in Chicago. Mm -hmm. One was uh, the to do to buy, and the other was um, to work, make work and home or something yeah, like something that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, so these are cool, but I like that they're perforated. Menu planning. Menu this planning. This is for you. With the I love this that. one's got a magnet. So. Excellent. So menu planning, things to do around the house. Oh, that's for you. Uh, Honeydew. No. Um, <laughs> and this one's this, for Justin. This one. This one's cool. I like this. Uh, make a decision. Uh, make a decision. You've got uh, your dilemma. Your dilemma, pluses and minuses, gut feelings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, decisions. So really, re really interesting stuff. Um, but fun, you know, if you're going to make a to-do list, make it fun. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm probably not going to claim it's, it's you know, going to be fountain pen friendly for your triple broad right. 149, but, uh, you know, you're just, just for good the, fun stuff. The paper it's is great. decent. Um, I did use these in Chicago yeah. all the time, okay. and uh, they do work for fountain pens. I prefer a fine or a medium fine mm -hmm. nib, so... Um, I never use them with a broad yeah. nib. Well, I mean, it's it's not meant to replace your Midori pad no, or something like that. No, so. absolutely not. Uh, Monteverdi Ritma uh, is coming in in a couple of colors. Well, a couple of colors. I got the whole list here. Several colors. Uh, turquoise, purple, black, blue, uh, red, and the special edition olive, and then soon the uh, the convertible, uh, which is a really uh, I love this olive color. It's really cool. It's got this black uh, ion plated trim uh, and magnets. This pen is magnets. Um, and magnetic. a nice strong snap. Yeah, magnetic. Oh, now I'm hooked. <laughs> okay. I'm good. And on the and on the back end. Yes. So it snaps to post. Um, so when of you're writing enthusiastically. Uh, th th this is this is the convertible version. The, the regular version is a little bit longer with a, with a clip on it, of course. And so with the convertible version, you can remove this <laughs> nut here at the top Got of the it. cap. <laughs> and then screw in the lanyard. Yeah, that would be handy for pen shows for you. If you ever go to one again. Oh, I'll be busy. <laughs> and then you can just... Put That's it, cool. That is cool. Uh, put it around your neck. Yep. So these all have... Take it off and right. Yovo nibs. Pop it back on. Um, the full-size the full model Yovo nibs, number six. Uh, extra fine... Fine, medium, broad, stub. Decent weight pen. Mm -hmm. It's a little short. Yeah. Um, I would well, definitely. Well, that's the convertible. The other well, ones. Well, that's a true. Bit, They're a little, little longer. bit longer. Yeah. Um, I would, but it's a nice size. There's barely a step at all between the section and the mm -hmm. barrel. Um, so just cool. Good. Really uh, nice pen. Good. Jo good job, Amanda Verdi. So. Great. Uh, coming soon. Go. Myora Aventus. Now, Myora's, let's talk about Myora. Okay, go. The owner was a former Delta founder. The Aventus is really a beautiful, stunning. Yes, I'm excited uh, about these. It, it, and it's so Delta, it really is. Yes. Uh, the materials are great, uh, beautiful looking pens. Uh, they are coming soon. Steel nibs, Yovo, priced right. Uh, very, very nice looking pens. Uh, nice. Roller clips on them, I mean. Just very Italian. I love it. Uh, I've got Super my eyes, uh, eyes on one, but there's a couple of colors. Can you name the colors for me? Uh, Amore is red. Y you and your Italian speaking uh, classes. Deep purple is purple. Oh. Uh, Perla is white. Okay. Um, Impero. Which one is that? Impero, that's the pretty one. Is that the deep blue? Um, <laughs> and then I don't the, have them yet. The, uh, the Unica. <laughs> I think the Unica is the brown. Okay. Um, kind of a striped brown almost. Really, really pretty. And then there's the uh, Lapio and the Onichi. So, Both black. Check, check, check them out. Yeah, there's a, the, the, there's a matte black yes. and, then a, and then a polished. So yes. with the black. Cool. Super, super pretty. I'm really impressed with uh, how they look, at least in the pictures we've seen. Uh, so I'm excited to get those in hand. Yeah, yeah. They're, they'll be nice. They'll be a nice... Uh, a, a nice Steel nib alternative uh, in that uh, in that particular price range. Yep. So, uh, also coming soon. Uh, just a reminder in case you've been in a cave somewhere. Hobonichi uh, is uh, uh, launching uh, in a few weeks, a couple weeks. So we're excited about that. Um, and I'm not getting one this year. You're not, you decided you're not going to get one. I'm not. I'm, I am. Kay. I'm going to do it this year. Um, but uh, you got to use it. I'm. 
I'm going to use it. I'll use it. All right. I, you say know what? I say that every year. I, every year I get one, except for this last year, I use it more than I use the previous year. I'm going to ask all of you to help keep Brian accountable. I don't know how. I don't know how. <laughs> but no, I'm going to get, I am, I decided. I haven't been able to do it in I'm getting the A6 years. Techo. Okay. I may or may not get a cover. We'll see what they look you like. You have two covers. I know, but you know, what's, what's the you fun? What's the fun in, in, you know, just getting something new for the year? It's, I'm excited about 2022. Can I have your old cover? You can have the navy one, absolutely. No, I want the mint cappuccino. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do we have any Chicago updates? If you... Should we mention? Yes, we should. So, um, <clears throat> I will be going down like once a week, once every 10 days between now and um, mid-September, uh, dropping off uh, a load of product and some stuff for the apartment. We can move into the apartment on the 15th and then we'll open after, a couple days after that. I need time to unpack and just chill. Um, so if you go by the building or if you go into the Palmer house and you go past the windows to the store, uh, for example, right now we have some Puni Labo pen cases in yep. the front. Um, we have some Sailor and some other ink on the ink shelves, mm -hmm. but it absolutely still looks mostly empty. Yep. Um, so just keep in mind, we are We're slowly making trips. It's almost impossible to drive a U-Haul truck down there. Um, if I've done it once, so if, I don't want to do it again. If that's not what you do for a Terrified living, so <laughs> we, we are trying to avoid that by making weekly trips. Yep. Um, we will bring the pens down last. Um, just we don't want to yeah. take them out of inventory yet we'll and keep them sitting. Whatever, so. And so we're going to have a bunch of stuff uh, shipped down there, a bunch of the heavy paper yeah, so and such. I, I, so there will be things that start to show up on the shelves, um, but... Um, that certainly doesn't mean that's all we're gonna have. Yeah, we we'll, we'll, we'll appreciate your understanding. Yes. I mean, it's, it's not an inexpensive uh, operation to fill that store. No. So um, uh, if there's something you're looking for, you, you want, just ask. Yes, but uh, we're also not um, planning to open for over a month yet. Yeah. So there's no point in having all this stuff sitting there collecting dust for a month. Um, but if you go by, uh, we do plan to open up uh, late September. To put one of these in. We need one of these for a store tester, don't we? Kuroganis? Not now, while nobody's there. No. Okay, well then I'll, I'll set one aside. When you come down, you can just bring yours. Oh. So, anyway, Chicago will be opening up in late September, and um, just keep uh, yeah, checking we'll, back, and, and we'll keep giving you updates. We'll update as, as, as things go on. So that's mm -hmm. exciting. Uh, I'm, I'm excited for fall. It's going to be great. Are you excited for me to leave? No, I'm not. I am not so. uh, anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, update and I should have brought them. I'll bring them. I'll bring them oh next week. Oh my god! The uh, 400th podcast giveaway. So we're giving away four. One, two, three, four. One hundred dollar gift certificates to to one each hundred dollar gift certificate to four lucky winners. Um, they could be in store or online, or whatever. Um, we have a pile. We have a pile. Oh, these are great. <laughs> Actually, it's a box. Is what it is now. We've so. had some great uh, artwork. Um, we've had some <clears throat> poems, just some really nice, sincere notes. Um, it's really funny. Educational. Yes, letters. I have learned a lot. <laughs> like a lot. I had no okay. idea about some of this. So uh, what you want to do is you want to check out the uh, 400th podcast. The details are on there, how to, how to sign up. It is a write-in. Um, your handwriting does not count. No. So don't worry if if that was the case, the same three people would win every time. Right. Uh, you know, you want to use your best handwriting, you want to use your worst handwriting. I don't care as long as I know how to get a hold of you. Yes. Uh, we've got four one hundred dollar gift cards uh, ready to go out, uh, and we've still got a couple more weeks. So international, it's all drawn by random, and uh, international still has time to apply. Greg. Okay. Uh, from Reedsburg, he uh, he stopped in the store uh, end of July. Okay. And we had a we had a, a kind of a funny chat about uh, our, our friend Mike Madison, and uh, he sent me a nice a nice letter, and he sent me a gift, and so I <laughs> I just want to show it off. It's, it's super cool. Uh, it's a German uh, scissors and letter opener set. Look at he this. He sent you a knife. He said, he, <laughs> yes, as a matter of fact, he did. Uh, but it, yeah, it, it, it was beautiful. really nice, and it, it really kind of a cool. I know you're into you, you like. 
scissors. Is that a fabric scissors? No, that's a stationary scissors. She always tells me I can't I can't touch her scissors. You can't use this scissor because it's to cut fabric. These are to cut hair. This is, you know. So the, the funny thing was, so he sent it and then he sent the, the letter in and I wanted to open the letter with a letter opener and I wasn't thinking. I'm like, geez, I wish I had a letter opener. <laughs> There was one there. So anyway, thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. Uh, super cool. We had a really interesting Saturday um, last week. Yes. Uh, yes. A bunch of different people from Chicago. Uh, we tend to get visitors in groups. Like this was like the Chicago Visitor Weekend. Seems like it. Yeah. Um, a couple weeks ago, we had like three different groups from Minneapolis, but none of them knew each other. Two of them were here for it weddings, but it wasn't schedule. the same wedding. It we ought to schedule a bus, right? Minneapolis, first Saturday of the month, we'll get a bus together at the mall or whatever, yep. and then everybody gets on and drives down. You gonna drive we, down? We, we, could, we could schedule that. We okay. could arrange that. All right. Um, so anyway, thanks to everybody who showed up. Um, we had a lot of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, a lot of good sports. Um, you know, and it gets, gets busy on Saturday sometimes when you and I are working, so. Yeah. Um, Makes you know, time I, go I, fast. It's, it's it's nice to have people who understand. There's only two people there, and we're we're doing what, what we can. So yep, no, but, uh, it, was, uh, it was a good time. Yeah. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about She's Got One More Thing. No, I don't. No? You don't have one I'm more just thing? I'm messing with you. Okay. More talk about pens, ink, and paper. Uh, follow the blog for news, ink reviews, and all sorts of other stuff. Check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And uh, don't forget, we do have a store in Chicago. We will be reopening in late September. Ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. And we will be open seven days a week once we open. Uh, Easy for you to say. <laughs> uh, check us out at chicago.andersonpens.com. And uh, make sure to like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.